and I previously reviewed the Akiyu AKY V360 ST, which is one of the most exciting dash cams that have come to the market recently. It has a very interesting recording option via the sensor, which can record in 360 degrees. Now to understand how that functions and what makes this dash cam special, make sure you watch my full review first before watching this video, otherwise what you see on this video may not make a lot of sense. But if you have already decided that this is the dash cam for you and are getting ready to order, you may have noticed that you do get a choice on picking what kind of that cameras come with this dash cam which is really neat i never seen that before so on this video i'm going to give you an overview of the different camera options for the aky b360 st as always i've placed a link in the description down below if you'd like to look at this item further or acquire one for yourself hi guys welcome back I am Alex the Car Guy and I review cool car gadgets and other accessories for your vehicle. So if those are the kind of things that you like, make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. But with that being said, let's get started. And the Akiyu AKY V360 ST comes standard with this 360 degree camera, which is great because that's going to capture the front, the sides and the cabin of the vehicle. However, our first choice of camera is going to be for the rear camera. Let's take a closer look if the rear camera will be installed on the inside of the vehicle this is the camera that you want to select when ordering your Akiyu dash cam this camera is going to mount directly attached to the rear windshield of the vehicle with the double-sided tape that they included and then it does have the ability to rotate down or up to adjust the angle to give us the best possible view of the rear however this camera is only meant to be used indoors it is not waterproof if the intention is to mount this camera on on the outside then we want to select the waterproof version now the outside version of the rear camera does not have this rotating mechanism instead it uses a metal bracket so we can adjust the angle and same thing it can be applied with double-sided tape and stuck to its location and then the angle can be adjusted with the bracket to give us the best possible view of the rear of the car and now that we cover the options for the rear camera the Akiyu AKY V360ST does support a side camera and there are two options for it the silver and this black one let's take a look at them closer first off we can see that the side cameras are very different from each other in terms not only of how they function and how they look let's start with the silver one first first let's talk about color the silver side camera only comes in this color which is silver which is gonna work with most vehicles car color however if you're not a fan of silver then this is gonna be the only option you get and you may want to consider the black camera instead now let's talk mounting of the silver camera and this camera is waterproof because it will be mounted on the outside of the vehicle and that is simply done with double-sided tape and then it's stuck to the side now the most important thing about this camera to know is that this is only gonna work on the dry side I could stick this if I wanted to on the passenger side but then the image is gonna be upside down there is no way to correct for this and finally let's talk about adjusting the view angle of the side camera remember this is gonna be very similar to your mirror and we know the mirror can be adjusted to see either more of the car or more of the traffic so we do have the ability to adjust this camera a little bit by placing it on certain places on the vehicle if I want this to point towards the outside so I can see more cars I'm gonna find a body panel in the car that points the camera this way so when I stick it it faces more that direction however if I'm more interested in catching a blind spot on the side of my vehicle I might want to have the camera point a little bit this way so I'm gonna find a part of the body panel in the car that is raised on the back so when I stick it like that it's gonna point towards the inside now let's talk about also pointing this camera up or pointing this camera down very similar to our mirrors. Do I wanna see more of the road towards the tires or do I wanna see higher towards the windows? That is control when I stick this onto my vehicle. I can simply stick this in this angle. I can stick it neutral or I can stick it facing down. So we have more control in the up and down. I think that on the side to side because that really depends on finding a body panel that is gonna point this camera in the direction desired. But now let's talk about the black camera option. As you can see, the body is rubberized and it's a flat black color. So that means that this is gonna blend in with pretty much any vehicle color out there. In fact, I suspect if your vehicle is black, this is gonna blend in perfectly and people are not even gonna know that you have this installed. Now the camera is waterproof, so it could be mounted on the outside of the vehicle and they have provided double-sided tape, which I can peel and then stick this to my car. But now let's talk about mounting the black camera. And the very first place that this can be mounted is 
on the inside of the vehicle, somewhere underneath the windshield, and this can act as a cabin camera for the inside of our car. However, this can also act as a side camera. Now, this is not gonna be installed like the silver camera on the side. This is gonna be installed like this, in this orientation, typically underneath the mirror. Now, this offers an interesting option because this can potentially now be installed on the passenger side or on the driver's side, where on the silver camera, we are locked to the driver's side only. The other interesting thing is that the front can be aimed. So once I stick this on here, I don't have to worry about controlling how I place this on here to control the view angle. To control the view angle, I can move this and notice that I can point it up, point it down, left to right, anywhere I want. So this gives us a tremendous amount of flexibility or where we want this camera to be pointed without having to re-stick the camera or struggle to find a body panel that points the camera in any given direction. But what if we really wanted to run two side cameras? Can I order a second camera, in this case the black one, and run it this way since this one will work on the passenger side? Well, let's find out. And if you decide to get the side camera option for the AKY, V360 SD dash cam, this is what the setup will look like. We have a rear camera capturing the rear of the vehicle. We have a 360 camera, as I said earlier, capturing everything inside of the car, outside and to the sides. And then we have the side camera, which is located on the driver's side if we order the silver camera. But what if I really wanted to run dual side cameras? Well, this dash cam technically supports three channels, rear, the 360 and one side camera. So if I wanna run two side cameras, I'm gonna have to give one of the channels up. And in this case, the only channel that we can give up in that way would be the rear camera. Let's swap the rear camera out for a side camera and let's see if we can get two side cameras working. And here's what would happen if you were to connect two side cameras, they will actually work. However, if I order those two side cameras in silver, we know only the driver's side is gonna be correct the one on the passenger, unfortunately, is upside down. However, we can see that it is possible to swap out the rear channel for a side camera. Now let's connect the black side camera on this side and let's see if we can get a true dual side camera setup. And as you can see, we now have dual side cameras, a silver one that is correctly pointing in the right direction on the driver's side and a black one on the passenger side and it's not upside down. A mirror dash cam with dual side cameras is not an option that exists out there in the market right now. However, if I really wanted to, I have created that right now by giving up one channel and look at that, it looks pretty cool. Also notice that the dash cam is recording correctly and everything else is operating right. Now, technically this is not something that Akiyo endorses for you to install two side cameras. I am just showing you that it's technically possible. We don't know the long-term effects of running a camera that was not meant to be plugged in here. There may be none, but without getting the manufacturer's assurance, we just don't know if this is something that will hurt the dash cam in the long term or not. And now that you saw the camera options, you may have noticed that there are a couple of additional ordering options. One of them is going to be the hardwire kit. The hardwire kit will enable this dash cam to work without being plugged into the cigarette lighter port of the vehicle. However, installing a hardwire kit usually is more involved and sometimes will require professional installation. If you want to see what a hardwire kit installation, I placed a link in the description down below or to a video where I show that in greatly detail. And the other option I recommend you consider is the glare reducer option. And that is because mirror dash cams are by their nature reflective, which means that you may get some glare when driving and trying to use this as an LCD mirror because this surface is reflective. The glare reducer option includes three overlays that can be applied. You only need one, but they include three in case the first one doesn't uh, install too well. But once that overlay is applied, it will reduce the glare and make it easier to see the screen behind it if you have issues with glare. Most people get used to it without a glare reducer, but some people do prefer to reduce the glare. Now, the glare reducer is specific to the size of this mirror and today can only be bought directly from a Kiyu. You cannot get that off Amazon. So I do recommend considering ordering that up front when you order this dash cam if you think you're gonna have a problem with glare. And the last option when ordering is gonna be the memory card size. Akiyu does include a memory card as small as 32 gigabytes in size 
and in my opinion that size is enough for most drivers out there however you can order a larger memory card as large as 256 gigabytes now in the overlays as i mentioned earlier are specific to this dash cam so you want to order those up front for sure if you need them the memory card however could always be ordered off amazon i've placed the link in the description down below to the memory card of my choice that i use so i would say the overlays are probably going to be of more priority than the memory card because we can always get that directly from amazon versus the glare reducers that we can only get direct from Akiyu. And the same thing applies to the hardwire kit. Currently, Akiyu does not sell on Amazon, so the only way to acquire the hardwire kit is directly from Akiyu. So you'll probably save money by ordering this up front in case you decide to get this professionally installed later at some point in the future. So hopefully this video helped you understand the options that are out there when you order your AKY V360 ST from Akiyu. And if you guys have any other questions regarding the dash cam or the options for it, please put that in the comments down below and remember i placed a link in the description to this dash cam in case you want to look at this further or acquire one for yourself and stay tuned as i have a lot more dash cam videos coming up and cool car gadgets for your vehicle thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one